Hello everybody and welcome. Melissa here at TCT Crafts. Today we're going to make a beautiful um, winter slash Christmas um, cardinal arrangement. So these are pretty popular every year during the holidays. So I thought we would make one. I made something similar last year, but I don't remember if I did a YouTube video on it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do it again. So what we're going to be using, let's go over some of our supplies. I'm using this container that I got from Hobby Lobby. Let me switch the view real quick so you guys can see. So this is just a metal container that I got from Hobby Lobby. And what I have done, I've already prepped it, is I took a couple of the Dollar Tree, um, just a pool noodle, and I circled up that pool noodle in here. And then I used the Great Stuff Gaps and Cracks insulation foam. And I sprayed that in there and I let it dry, okay? So this has got gaps and cracks in it, okay? And um, then I've just taken some of my moss and we've mossed the top, okay? So that is our container. Let's go over some of our greenery. So we're gonna be using our pine, our flocked pine. So this is, you know, one of my staples all season long. Um, if not this exact one, something very similar, just a flocked pine. We're going to be going in with our Norfolk, Norfolk, can't even, can't even say it right, um, greenery. So we're going to add some of this in here. I brought in this greenery. Now we're not going to use, we probably won't use the berries on this because I'm going to show you something in a minute that we're going to be using that has berries. But I like the little texture of the greenery. So we're going to use the greenery part of it, and I'll save the berries for another project. Now here is what I am super excited to use. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? This is a new product we just got in the shop. And look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? It's got the little frosty leaves on it and the berries. So this, these are the berries that we're going to be using. Okay. And then I brought in our cardinal ribbon um, and it has a little bit you can see this ribbon has some of the holly so I thought we would bring in uh, a little bit of holly in here as well uh, with our uh, icy holly bush isn't that beautiful um, so we're going to go in with a little bit of this and then I picked up some cardinals at Hobby Lobby as well so we're going to use a couple of these guys in, in this arrangement, okay? So I think I got through all the supplies. So let's go ahead and let's jump in and let's get started. Okay, I think the first thing that I want to do is get our, get our bow added. So I want our bow probably in this area here. some fairly long tails. That's probably pretty good. Okay, I'm just gonna pitch. I think we'll probably do maybe five loops. Now well, let's just go ahead and do six. So they're about an inch higher on each loop. And I'm going to show you something in a second. We're going to cut one of these tails off. Okay, let me get my pipe cleaner. Go 
go ahead and cut my tail here. Now I'm gonna cut this tail off right here because our cardinals are upside down. I'm not too worried about it on the loops, but for our tails, I want it to be right. So I'm just gonna snip this tail and then we'll add a pick on it and we'll get it added back in later. Okay, now I'm going to take my pick. And just wrap that around. Wrap my little copper wire, or my little wire around there. Hit it with some glue. I'm going to take just a little bit of this moss here. And that's going to help give that some support there. Some glue on our pick and we're going to get it added so i want it probably right about here now don't worry about the floppy loops we're going to anchor that here in just a second i'm going to wait on adding our tail back So while that is sitting there, let me get, I've already cut up a couple pieces of our um, flocked pine just to save time. So let's anchor our bow. We're gonna go right in, right next to that pick. I'm gonna give each piece just a little bit of a bend. I'm going right next to that, right next to that pick. Okay, and we're going north, south, east, to west. Giving it a little bit of a bend. We're gonna lift up our tail here. We're going right next to that. Right next to that pick. Look, they're already starting to stand up at attention. Get another piece. Now I'm going, these pieces, you, they've got longer pieces and shorter pieces. So I'm using the shorter pieces to anchor our bow. Again, right next to that with a little bit of a bend. And let's do the last one. Right up underneath there. A little bit, bit of a bit. I think I want to turn the bow just a hair this way. So it's off to the side just a little bit more. Okay. Now let's get one of our big cardinals added. I don't need the clip. So, thinking I want this guy sitting maybe right in here. We might need to get some greenery added under this guy before we get him situated. He's good. Well, we can go ahead because hopefully like he's going to be on a little. He's going to be on a little pick. So I'm just taking a stem, just a stem that I, a scrap stem that I have. 
can use like a wooden dowel or, or a skewer, but I just have this laying in here. Okay, so I just have this little skewer. I'm just gonna poke this right in our little guy there. Add some glue around there. get him situated where we want him. I think I'm right. Right about there. Okay, so he's going to hang out. And we're probably going to add another one that's going to be higher. So I'm thinking like maybe one in this area. Yeah. Okay. So let me get another stick. I'm going to need a longer stick this time. Okay. I just grabbed like a bamboo, a bamboo skewer. right about there. Okay, I'm gonna hit that. I'm not gonna pull it back out. I'm just gonna hit it with the glue. We're gonna be ha having more greenery and stuff anchored around that, which will help hold it in place as well. Now let's add a few more pieces of our pine. Now that we got our we got our cardinals in. So I'm gonna have a piece, I'm gonna stuck that right in that glue, sort of going through our, let me see if I want it over, I kinda like it over versus through. So you could do it either way. You could go through the handle, have it draping, draping a little bit more down or we could get it, do it above the handle. I'm torn. Let's go through the handle. That was my original thought, so let's just stick with it. change my mind because I can't get the there we go make sure that pick is going in there we go let me look at it okay still waffling on if I like that through we're gonna add more stuff that'll be around it so I think it'll be okay okay let's get our other one Again, I'm giving them a bend. I'm going to go through, making sure that goes down in there. Okay, this one is a little longer than this one. I'm going to give it just a little bit of a haircut. piece right there kind of that will help give our ribbon tail a little bit of support and what goes on the right goes on the left so let's get another piece I 
I want a piece right here. So I'm going pretty close to that um, pick from the bow and just kind of bringing it down. here in the back. Okay, I'm going to need to cut up another one. Steel picks. So if you have a pick machine, I put them on picks. Um, you could just stick them into the, you can just stick them into the gaps and cracks if you prefer. I just find it easier to have it on a pick. So if you don't have a pick machine, you can use the wooden picks like what we used for our bow. Okay, we'll get one more added right there. So we've kind of gone all the way around. Okay, let me switch the view just so you guys can see a different angle of it. Okay, don't worry about the holes. We have more stuff that we're going to be adding, and we can add more of this if we need to later. Okay, I'll put you back over here. I think it's a little bit easier probably for you guys to see. Now, let's add a few pieces of this gorgeous bush here. This is our frosted by viburnium berry bush. I hope I said that right. But I love it. So I'm going to get a piece here. Because I kind of want a taller piece to go in right next to our little cardinals. Let me see if that is too tall. We can push it down in there pretty good. tail over on this side so I'm probably going to need to put another piece of greenery right in there for our tail because this is our front right so okay let's get another piece and I think I want this one sort of bent down over down over this guy. So I'm going to put it on a pick so I can get a little bit more length. I'm going right next to that ribbon. And now this little guy is sort of sort of hanging over right here. This on a pick. And I have it right behind, right behind him a little bit. Beautiful. 
I think I'm gonna go ahead and add our ribbon tail. So I'm just taking our ribbon and I'm just going to pinch it just like this. And then I'm gonna put a pick on it. I made sure I put it on the right way so that he's not upside down. Our cardinals aren't upside down. So add some glue on that. We're just going to get that added. Right in there. So now we have our, our other tail there. another piece of this. Okay, and I gave it a bend and we're going straight down in the back so it's just gonna it's gonna hang. hang down and with our berries we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to the side just a little bit. Beautiful. Okay. Now Gonna want some in the front. And we're gonna sort of blend it with this pine. I'm going right under him. See, it's laying right there on that pine. You guys see that? Have that laying right there. Beautiful. You can use as little or as many of these if you don't want to use the whole bush. You don't have to. I think I'm gonna go underneath. I may cut this one down, cut it down just a little bit. We'll use that other little berry cluster somewhere else. Giving it a bin. I'm going right up underneath. Oops, I lost a cluster. Where did it go? There we go. Gorgeous. Okay. Let's go in with a few, we'll come back to those. Let's go in with a few other of our other items we're gonna add. I do think we're gonna need a piece of pine right here. So let's just go ahead and get it added. So I'm taking a shorter piece because this is the front. I'm going right next to that pick. I'm just giving it a bend down there. Okay, just like that. Okay, let's go in with a few pieces of our North, Nor, I do, I do not know why I have the hardest time pronouncing that. Norfolk, Norfolk. Pine. I'm gonna cut these off. I put that on a pick, but I don't think I need. Let me just cut it off, all of that. And again, this is optional. If you just want to keep it all um, with the frosted pine, you definitely can. But I like to mix in some different types of greeneries. Give it that extra little texture and little pop. So I'm going right up underneath our cardinal here. So 
sort of right next to that frosty pine. Get that piece right there. Let's get a shorter piece. Let's see if I have a short piece. Yeah, here's a short piece. I'm giving these a bend. Stuck my finger right in the glue. That's wonderful. piece there and I want a piece sort of in our growing in our bow there sure I heard that it was going in there. Okay, let's add another piece on this side. I can get it in there. Sometimes it can be a little tricky. I don't like the way that one went in. Try it again. Okay, that's better. Okay, let's add a piece right in here. And let's find a smaller piece. Here we go. Giving it a bend. Okay, I'm sort of going in between the frosty pines. I'm sort of going in between with our, this greenery. I'm not even gonna try to say the name of it again, y'all. You know what I mean. <clears throat> I think this one I'm gonna cut down a little bit. I'm going towards more of the center. another piece. Again, I'm going to cut it down. Beautiful. Let me know in the comments if you like to make arrangements. Or are you more of just a wreath maker? Or are you completely new to designing? Okay, I think I'm gonna add one more piece, maybe a little bit long, to give us a little bit more length on this side right here. So I started out initially just doing deco mesh wreaths. How I got started. Um, just like you guys are doing now watching YouTube. I went to YouTube because I had no clue how to do. I was not particularly crafty. Um, <clears throat> but something about the wreaths, just I wanted one for my door, and so I went to YouTube to learn. Started with deco mesh wreaths, did those for quite a while. And then, you know, just evolved. I was scared of the arrangements for the longest time until probably I'd say last year, I really got to where I just enjoyed almost more than the wreath. I really enjoyed doing the floor arrangements. So I still love wreaths. Um, I don't use deco mesh very often anymore. I've sort of 
evolved from that. I used more greenery. Um, but I have really um, started to enjoy the floral arrangements. And almost more so than the than the wreaths. Now I say swags are probably um, one of my favorites. So swags and the floral arrangements I think are two, my two new new favorites. Even though I still do the wreaths, I think the swags um, and then the arrangements are my favorites now. But you know, just like everything, you sort of go in cycles. You like something for a little while and then you kind of burn yourself out and you're ready to go to something different. Okay, I'm just still, I'm just putting these in between. In between that pine. We need a piece right in here. Cut it down just a little bit. And another good thing about the arrangements is they're not as big and they're not as hard to store while you're waiting for them to settle. So that is a plus. Although my arrangements typically sell pretty well. I don't hang on to them very often or very long, which is good. We've gone all the way around. I want to add a few pieces towards the center. We can so we can start hiding our little um, skewer that our bird is sitting on. We want to hide our mechanics here. I'm going to start adding a few pieces right around there. And we still have our little iced holly to add as well. So that one I went more straight up. These ones we were going down, these ones were going more, not really straight up, more at an angle, just to fill in, if that makes sense. And don't be afraid to cut your greenery, make it the size that you want it, you can add picks on these things. So if it doesn't have a stem, that's okay. If you don't have a pick machine, use a wooden pick. It takes a little bit longer. Not quite as much fun for as, you know, the steel picks are just a little easier, but you definitely can get away with just using the wooden picks. Just got to be a little more patient because you got to wrap them. I'm going to go right behind this right there. Okay, let's stop with that. We'll come back. And let's add in, we're going to add some more things around our bow. and Because I want the greenery, actually let's do one piece. I want the greenery like kind of growing in our bow. Okay, let's add a few of our um, iced holly pieces. Okay, 
think I'm going to cut this piece down because I want a piece kind of right here, but I don't want it too long. that's our front so I don't want anything hanging too too much a little bit so we just kind of I trim that down we can still see our bells okay I think I want a piece kind of going right under him I see that beautiful. Okay, got our smaller piece here from the one I cut. I think we're just going to add it up underneath there. Get it in and then hit it with my glue gun. I want to make sure I'm pushing that right there into that. And again, we can just blend these together. Okay, let's get another one. coming up not that high we're going to push it down but we're going to intertwine that Get another glue stick. Okay. I want a piece right in here.
Okay, let's get another piece here. I'm gonna go ahead, I think, and put another piece of pine right up here behind our cardinal just to help hide that um, stick. There we go. Plus it gives them a little bit more support. stuff all over the floor today. Okay, I'm going to go in close to the bow on this one. Straight down. piece up top. Sort of right behind, right behind our cardinal. I can get it in there. There we go. I'll drop my glue in there. think we need a piece right there. Okay, beautiful. You could totally stop here. Absolutely gorgeous. You can stop here if you want. We're going to add a couple more pieces of greenery. So I brought in. I brought in this bush just because I like the texture of the greenery. We're not going to use the berries. We'll save the berries for another project. But I'm going to bring in a couple of pieces of this of this greenery just to give a little bit a uh, different color and a little bit um, different texture. So we will save the berries. We'll use them again on something else. I got a box of berries and pine cones down there, so if you hear me chunking, that's where that's what it is. But I want to tuck in a couple of pieces of this. That one I'm going at an angle. I'm gonna get right next to our bow here.
I'm going to play with this piece for a second, make sure I like this placement. Has a little bit of a hole there, so I think that's going to work. Okay, I'm going to get one more. Yeah. Now we have, um, I have these little baby cardinals, the smaller ones that are sitting on this pine cone. I just pulled it off. I don't know if I want another one somewhere tucked in. Kind of like that. I uh, kind of like him just sitting there on that on that ribbon. We could put a, put him on a pick if we wanted to, as well. But I think if I glue him right to that ribbon, I think he'll be good. And again, this guy is optional. You can just leave the big ones. Okay, here we go. I think we're done. So I will get a picture of this. Let me give you guys a little, a little spin. Isn't that gorgeous? I'll get a picture for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you're new to our channel, we would love to have you subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. You'll be notified every time we have new tutorials. We love to do seasonal decor, um, everyday home decor, floor arrangements, just all the things. So we would love to have you on our channel. Until next time, 